In this tutorial, we will create a text to dust, text to sand animation as shown on the screen. Let's jump to the tutorial without further talking. Let's create a new composition. I'm going to name it render 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. Click OK. Then grab your type tool and type the text. I'm going to type particles and go to your line tab and align this text in the middle. Select your text, go to edit, duplicate, or you can press Ctrl D as a shortcut. Let's rename the duplicated layer to Dust to stay organized and go to Effects and Presets tab, search for Composite, so CC Composite, add this to the Dust layer. Then search for the Effect CC Particle System 2 and also add this to the Dust layer. Now let's head over to the Effect Controls tab and shrink the settings for CC Composite, we don't need those. Expand the properties of Producer, Physics and Particle for CC Particle System. Straight away, let's check the source alpha inheritance that will make sure that the particles are emitted only from our text. And set max opacity to 30%, we do not want our particles to be too bright. Now set the birth rate to 50, that will make sure that we get a lot of particles. And set longevity to 4 seconds, so our particles will be visible for 4 seconds before fading out. As for the position, Go to the beginning of your timeline and create a keyframe for position and set the x value to 0. Then go to, we'll say, 2 seconds forward and set the x value to 1920. Well, that will be the size of your composition. That will be 3840 for a 4K resolution. Set radius x to 1. This dictates how wide our particle source is and we do not want it to be too wide. And radius y sets how high a particle source is. So you want to set it to 12 or even higher depending on how high your text is to make sure it covers an entire text height. Let's head over to the physics tab and set animation to direction. Let's give this a quick preview. You will see that our particles moving quite quickly and they are falling down so let's play around with the physics settings. Velocity means how quick your particles move so we we want to set this to 0.5, so particles are not too quick. Also set inherent velocity to 20. So at the moment, our particles are falling down. That's because the gravity is set to a positive value. If we set it to a negative value, particles will actually flow up. So that's the effect we are going for. Let's set gravity to 0.3, or actually negative 0.3, and you'll see the particles are flowing up. Also set resistance to 20, so they are not too quick after the initial burst and they can slow down. You can leave the rest of the settings as they are. Let's go ahead and change the color. So select the birth color and usually select the text color and same for the death color, just the darker tone to get a bit of contrast. Our particles layer is ready at this point. Let's give this a preview. All right, that looks good. Now let's proceed to making the text disappear with our particles. Head over to Effects and Presets tab and search for Linear Wipe Effect. Apply this effect to the bottom text, so Particles Text Layer. Now select Dust on your timeline, press U to reveal the keyframes. Now select the Particles Text Layer and move the playhead at the first position keyframe of our particle system. Create a keyframe for transition completion for our Linear Wipe Effect at 0%. Then move to the second keyframe of the position and set the transition completion to 100%. Also set the feather to 50. Now let's give this one final preview. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, that's how we create a text to dust, text to sand animation. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And yeah, these are my settings. You don't have to use these exact settings. You're free to experiment with this on your own. There's no one right way to do this. And yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know. Do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.